I'm going to talk pretty quickly about how to make some solid plastic realistic firearms for training purposes. You may be familiar with these solid plastic realistic replicas that are used for classroom demonstration, sometimes for retention practice, uh, maybe force on force or other types of informational or educational situations where you might want an inert firearm uh, either off the range or in a classroom situation. So these are very close to the real dimensions. You can use them in holsters. You can run accessories and things with them. And again, you can use them for uh, demonstrations. Uh, understanding what they're for, I've always been a fan of the North American Arms uh, revolvers, and there's really only one source to get a solid plastic replica like this, and unfortunately they don't make one in the uh, 22 short size. So went through and did some research online and found out the process on how to cast solid plastic resin like this and then uh, the, put a little bit of investment into some materials and experimented with some uh, different colors and a couple of different firearms. So I uh, thought we would quickly talk about the process. To begin with you take a uh, firearm as you can see. We set up a little framework made out of some Lego block and then uh, put in some clay around the firearm so that half of it was exposed. We then mix up some of this two-part foam rubber. Uh, mixes at room temperature. There's no chemical odor. It's real easy to deal with. Once it's mixed up, you pour it on top of the uh, first half of the firearm there. Give it some time to set. And depending on what type you use, it's, you know, it's going to be different times, anywhere from a couple of half an hour to a couple hours. Uh, once it's set up, you remove it all from the little framework, uh, you remove the clay, leave the firearm in the piece of silicone, and uh, set it up again. You spray some release down so that eventually you can peel them apart, and then you mix up some more silicone rubber and pour it in. You've now got your mold. Uh, we're taking a look at one here that's a pretty soft one. I've got some cardboard on it to give it some rigidity. But you can see it's pretty flexible. They're not all that flexible. This one is a lot more like a wax type of uh, feel. This one's on the other extreme, very flexible. You can see that when the firearm was removed, there's a cavity there. We add some holes for air and to pour the plastic in. The plastic, again, is a two-part uh, chemical uh, mix. Mix them together at room temperature, no chemical odor. odor. Uh, pour them in. They take anywhere from five to 15 minutes to set uh, and what you're left with is a solid plastic part and using some of the techniques available on the different websites and videos that are out there we had some fun with the different colors and uh, types of them here. So if you're interested in something like this uh, let us know we can do more videos on the subject. As always thanks for watching. The guys and gals of GunWebsites.com encourage you to take a CCW class every year, practice at least once a month, and carry every day. Thanks for watching GunWebsites.com.